Hey guys, it is Sunday, October 27th, I think. I've no idea what time it is, except that it's well after lunch, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know, we'll find out in a second. Anyway, Bob and Lily went out for a walk. I opted to stay home. Um, we've been walking five to seven days a week, every week, since June or July. We kind of lost track, to be honest with you. It's 1.55 p.m., by the way. <laughs> um, so I'm taking a break. Um, my knee is better. Um, the joint supplements are helping a lot, and making sure I do, don't do anything stupid with my knee uh, in between walking and just normal household stuff um, is helping. When I do go walking, I usually wear a brace. My, sent, my friend Vicki Brown sent me a brace, so um, that helps make sure that I don't overwork the knee. And I, All of those together are helping, so anyway. Um, what else? I'm waiting on uh, delivery from Amazon. I ordered a new turntable for the tools on my art desk, so I'm hoping that actually does come today. But I live in Portland, and I think the delivery people here just feel like, eh, I don't feel like delivering it today, so we'll leave it till tomorrow. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe it's like that in, where you, in the part of the world or country where you live. If, if, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But if you all feel that way, let me know in the comments below. Let's start a little conversation about that, um, whether it's Amazon delivery people or... USPS, I just feel like some days they just don't care if they deliver your mail. <laughs> um, anyway, all right, the fires are raging in California and I have friends and family who, uh, you know, I'm a little concerned about. Uh, yeah, Barbara Clark and Leslie Swank being two of them, um, I think they're okay, but I know at least one of them is at without power. I think they actually, at the time of filming this, they're both without power. Um, and it's just not a good thing. It's bad again. Whatever pg &E tried to do with their rolling power outages didn't work. So, anyway, all right. That's it for the moment. I'm going to sit up here at the computer, try to get some art stuff done. I don't know how far I'll get with that, but you know, because it is Sunday. I generally try to take a break on Sunday, but we'll see. All right, I'll be back. everybody it is Monday morning October 28th don't get excited I'm looking at the iPad it's 10 9 a.m. and I've got a friend so, so she can lay on top of them and grandpa's not home so I guess I'm you know the next best thing <laughs> anyway I fed the deer some corn I have a call into my doctor's office. Not that there's anything wrong, but there is a measles outbreak. Oh, well, they're all over the world now, but um, the newest one is in the Portland area and actually one of the areas of exposures in the town that I live in. So, you know, we've just been putting off getting booster shots and having our immunity checked, both Bob and I, you know, for a while now. It just didn't seem like it was a top priority, but now that it's in our area and the last two years we've been doing so much flying and one of the points of exposure is Portland International Airport which is the one we fly in and out of all the time I think it's time so I'm gonna I have a call in I'm waiting for a call back to get um, some blood work done and check my immunities my guess is I don't have any because I don't think I had a measles vaccination since I was a kid we had a booster of something when Rebecca was born, but I honestly don't remember what it was. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so we need to be checked. And...
Okay, so I think my um, new turntable tray thing for my table upstairs finally came. I think I just caught the delivery person on camera. Um, up until late last night, like 11 o'clock last night, the listing for set item said if you order it within 23 hours and so many minutes, you'll get it Wednesday, which is um, tomorrow. Um, and now it says it's says free delivery Thursday. They're still touting a two-day delivery because today is Tuesday. I ordered this item on the 24th. It's currently the 29th. It's a big fat lie. <laughs> anyway, let's go check it out and see what it okay, looks like. Thank you to my friend Cindy Utter. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description below. I found this um, Amazon listing for this 18-inch wide um, Lazy Susan tray. And this is the thing I was waiting on from Amazon. And it it is big, but it came in a huge box. It is Hang big, on. But it came in this giant box. It only took up about half of the box, maybe less. And there was absolutely like no bubble wrap or anything. It was just loose in the box. But at least it finally got here, so I won't complain too much. I will tell you the under sink um, turntable is that's what that's called that's what that's uh, where is it there we go that's what that's called back there um, it is also available at Bed Bath & Beyond and you can look at your local store um, to check availability on the Bed Bath & Beyond website and if they don't have it in stock at your local store you can order it through the website and have it delivered. You might have better luck with delivery that way than Amazon. Just saying. Alright, I'll be back. I never thought on this Tuesday afternoon instead of uploading the vlog for tomorrow to YouTube and making some art catching up on paper clips, I'd be headed to the doctor's office to get a measles vaccine. So yeah, so there's a measles outbreak. Has been one in Washington State, just across the border from where I live for a while. Um, mostly um, in people who have not yet been vaccinated. Um, it's spreading down to Portland and one of the points of contact is um, Portland International Airport, which I'm in and out of quite frequently. So, and I have to do it again. So. As far as I'm aware, I haven't been vaccinated since I was a kid in the 1960s, and um, from all accounts, including consultations with my doctor, it's recommended I come in and get a new vaccine, so I already have asthma and a mitral valve issue in my heart that I was born with, so we really don't want me to get sick with something like measles would be bad, so I'm going to go get the vaccine. That's a thing, evidently. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, October 30th, 3.32 p.m. Fun fact. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the iPad. I was up and down the stairs a lot already this morning. I don't know how many steps in I already have. Let's see. Let's see down there. 2,600 already. Um, hopefully we'll go walking later. But, because um, we haven't been in a few days. Anyway, I was chatting with friends. I got my calendars, two calendars ready for next year. Um, the one here for downstairs and the one for my wallet. I used two um, moleskin journals, weekly, weekly journals. Uh, I will link the ones I use in the description below. Um, I do... Um, add like the one in my wallet I add all of my medical information to and contact information to in case of an emergency my stuff is in there and then the one for the house here has sections in the front before you get to the weeks um, I use the monthly calendar thing um, I don't use that as a calendar um, I have sections for uh, like important phone numbers and a place to put business cards in as the year goes on and um, different information like that so um, I do pre have to prep them and add the sections in and stuff like that and I do put um, like washi tape on that page edge uh, for the beginning of each month and um, what else if I'm having some problems with Facebook 
So, um, uh, so Facebook Messenger is working fine, but suddenly this afternoon Facebook proper has decided not to let me um, post anything to Facebook, and the, uh, I've changed the password. I have two-factor security on, going on on the website, so it should be secure that way. My current computer upstairs is currently running antivirus. I did. I always run malware in the background, which was fine, and the virus antivirus hasn't found anything, so I don't think it's my computer. I'm not sure what's going on, um, but the message says, you're temporarily restricted from performing certain actions on Facebook. This is because there's been some unusual activity detected on your account and your account will be limited until 1.22 p.m. tomorrow. And I don't seem to be even evil, able even to message them to ask them basically WTF. Um, I don't know what unusual activity they're talking about. I haven't posted anything weird. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual on my uh, Facebook page when I check it. Um, not only for my devices, but other devices in the house. Um, and I've had friends check it. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, so, yeah. All my posts tonight and tomorrow will be late. Now you know why. If you're, you're seeing this a week late, so you already knew they were late, but yeah. Anyway. <sighs> yeah. Fun times. All right, I'll be no. back. It's been a, such a strange day. First, you know, Facebook just randomly blocks me from posting anything for no apparent reason, although I have heard from a few people that something I shared or posted in the last day or so may have been flagged by pa Facebook as suspicious, suspicious content. I don't have any idea what. I don't have any idea what the issue is with the post, I, I have no idea. And if it's a piece of my artwork that I shared, well, that, that was my artwork, I have a right to share that. That's mostly what I post, so I have no idea. Then I have random delivery people coming today. The bug guy came today, which is, he was very sweet. And then somebody just pulled up into my driveway, threw something out of their car, and then drove off. I think it was a newspaper, but it's just such a weird day. I don't know, I'll be back. So it's not even 10 o'clock yet on Thursday, October 31st, Halloween. I actually know the day because it's Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween. <clears throat> we haven't been walking since Saturday. Fred has the day off. <clears throat> we do have appointments and stuff today, but we're out getting an early morning walk before any of them get started to try to catch up. And it's 33 degrees outside. 33 degrees outside. We are probably gonna go on one more walk later this afternoon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, dinner. huh? Before dinner? Before dinner, yeah. before trick or treating starts. Yeah. So, yeah, gotta try to catch up on the steps. All right, I'll be back. back from our walk we're waiting for um, some um, workmen to come by to um, do a quick job here around the house the husband is blowing pine needles out of the driveway 
because that's a thing. We live in the Pacific Northwest next to the wood, the woods full of fir trees. So, um, right, that's what I get for, you know, vlogging with my phone. So I did want to tell you all that I changed up my daily drawing bag a bit. I'm really finding that I <clears throat> enjoy doing my daily drawings with a little bit of black pen and then either the highlighter gel crayons, um, pushed around with a little bit of water from a water brush. Um, accented maybe with some white gel pen or the highlighter markers. Now I've had these Faber-Castell pastel, Faber-Castell pastel, wow. <laughs> um, highlighter markers that I've been using, which are great. They come in a variety of colors. I just recently got these ones from Amazon that are, come in a few more colors. They are the Java Power, Power Line 2500. Um, and this is what they look like over black pen. So I'm really enjoying, um, doing my drawings and then accenting in black ink and then accenting it with the highlighter markers, or I have a few of my black pens. Um, and then I have my, um, retractable fountain pen that have dark ink in them, either blue or black, and I'll just move that around with water. Um, I'm really enjoying that. So I, I had some other fine liner colored markers in here from Muji that I wasn't using um, at all. I haven't used them in probably four months, so they didn't need to be in here anymore. So I took them all out and put these new um, highlighter markers in instead. So I think that's going to work well for me. The only colored pen I have in here is um, I have a multi pen. So that'll that's perfect. So I'm going to go through what's in my travel sketch bag and the pen case that's in there and see what's in there. If there's Muji pens in there, I think I'm going to take them out um, because I don't need them in there. And I'll change things around a little bit. I'm just not using them right now. So anyway, I'm going to finish my lunch and wait for the workmen to come that are supposed to do a job here around the house for us today. And then I guess I better do some chores. Because, you know, dishes, laundry starts to pile up if you don't keep on it so all right I'll be back So I know the colors are a little bit Christmassy, I think, because it's not orange and purple, but we put my little LED lights in the front window. We're going to turn the camera around and show you in a minute. We've gotten one trick-or-treater. We may not get much more than that, but we do like handing out candy. That's right. Just FYI if you're in Oregon for future reference. Uh, okay, let's show you the house. We've got our LED lights in the window. We have our, We've got Bob's dead guy. <coughs> <laughs> There's a dead guy. You got some bones. Yeah. And then if you walk up toward the front porch, <coughs> we've got another dead guy and some pumpkins. And then we've got, yep, there we go. Then we've got our wolf, dead wolf, howling at the moon. Here's his little cat friend. Halloween everybody. Let's hope we have people come for candy because we got a shitload of it. Otherwise he's taking a lot to work. Shitload? Yes, we can we can say shitload. What are they gonna do? Demonetize my video? I've just been out of Facebook jail, so what's the difference? Whatever. So I only ever have one question about government buildings, like when you have to go pay your property taxes or some why are they always next door to the Department of Corrections? No, it seems like no matter the state. Or the post office. Or, yeah, well, you've got the Department of Corrections, the post office, and then the county building that we're in. Why is that? All right, on to the next place. By the way, good morning. It's still technically morning. It's Friday, November 1st, 11.38 a.m. We're out running a few errands, and then I've got to go home and cook a big pot of chili because we're having people over for dinner tonight. The kids are coming. My sister and her husband are coming. Yeah, I'll be back. Turn.
everybody. It's Saturday morning, November 2nd, 9.58 a.m. Yep. Don't get excited. I've already checked. We are headed into Washington uh, to visit with our niece and her husband and of course our new little great nephew, Paxton. Yes. We're gonna help them out with some stuff around their house and get together with family. So we'll bring you with us where we can. All right, we'll be back. We're wearing a plaid today. We're rocking the plaid today, you know, because we're Pacific Northwest people now. He's got his plaid shirt on. I've got some plaid leggings on, which the daughter told me not to wear, but I'm wearing anyway. But, you know, it is what it is. She's going to have to just deal with it. All right, I'll be back. So it is 6.23 Saturday evening and we're finally done at our niece and her husband's house. And I, did, I didn't get a lot of footage because we were working, but I got a little bit. And I think my sister might have some pictures, so I'll try to get what I can from her. But we, it was a big project, but we got it all done. They just, you know, between getting married and having their son and just life, things got crazy for them. And now we help them. Um, get it all clean and clear and they're not done yet, but we made big progress. So it's all good, but we're Clean exhausted. Garage. Clean up the garage, emptied the office. Emptied, uh, emptied the office. And I think when all is said and done, they're going to be able to park his motorcycle and her car in the garage, yep. which is fabulous. And we got three big um, shelves put up, got rid yeah. of a bunch of old shelves yep. and went to the dump. Got a bunch of stuff to go onto the uh, front Yeah, lawn. what did he say? He had 700 pounds of, of dump? Was it 700 pounds? I'm not I surprised. I think it was a lot, yeah. They weighed his car or something? Yeah, or I guess they did, yeah. Uh, it was and a lot. So he had it all was these a lot. shelves and a bunch of junk, and um, it's all gone. It's all gone, and they're not done. They still have a lot to do, and they, you know, Paxton's only a month old, but they have to. The idea is to get the house clean and clear so they can baby proof and they've made great headway. But we're going to be having to have one or two more sessions where we all get together and do this and help them out. And so, yeah, but it's good. But we're tired now. So we're headed home. We've got a, about a two hour drive to get home. And I think we're going to just go straight through and we probably should stop somewhere for dinner, but I don't think we're going to. No, <laughs> I think we're just going to go home. And so, yeah. Anyway, it's been a fun week and um, we've had a good time. We hope you have too. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check the video description for relevant links like to my Facebook group and my Etsy shop and all of that stuff, my happy mail address. Anything relevant, I always put there. Um, and don't forget to like, share, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Sorry the camera's shaky, we're going over some bumps. See you later, bye guys.